Multiple times I felt like throwing up. I had these weird pains like all over my body, especially in the upper chest area. And there was one day in particular where I just completely lost it. Yo guys, what is up? C-Ray back with another video, but today's not gonna be a calisthenics video. It's more gonna be about supplements and more specifically, ashwagandha you guys probably saw this everywhere maybe like a year ago people were trying out experimenting with it there were some rumors and gossip and nonsense and probably some factual stuff as well about it when people started taking it explaining the side effects and to be honest i'm not a scientist i'm not going to go into too much detail on that because i don't have any real evidence or anything to suggest that this supplement works or it doesn't I'm just gonna completely tell you guys my experience with no filter, no bullshit, no BS, and we're gonna get straight into it with what I experienced over 30 days of taking ashwagandha, no stops, no breaks, straight 30 days, and it was interesting to say the least. So first of all, the reason that I started taking it is simply just to make a video on it. So if you think that I was taking it for a lack of something else, then yeah, I wasn't. I just wanted to take it for this video and it turned out good because this is gonna be an interesting one. All right, so getting straight into it, right? After a week, I felt nothing, all right? Absolutely nothing. I didn't even notice any effects. I probably had a little bit of a placebo effect where I was like, oh, I actually could be working because I was getting like some PRs in the gym, but I wasn't necessarily, you know, making those PRs because of the ashwagandha. In fact, I probably wasn't. I was probably just eating really good, resting really well, training very hard. That's everything that you need to succeed in your training. Anyways, back to the ashwagandha. After a week, didn't feel anything. And in fact, after two weeks, I didn't really feel a lot either, but I did start to notice that I was a little bit more focused on my work. So nothing to do with training. I was just focused on what I was doing when it comes to my work. Like, as you guys know, I'm a coach and I have, you know, various amounts of students, whether it's my own one-to-one -one clients on my app or on the Calisthenians Academy. So I was way more focused in just doing my work. And once I started to do one thing, nothing would like distract me unless it was like, obviously something really serious, but I wasn't getting distracted by anything. I was just laser focused on what I was doing. And I didn't want to stop until I'd completed it. Usually, I'm kind of like that anyway. My work ethic is usually really high, but it felt like it was even more laser focused. And I remember even messaging, you know, some of my close friends and saying like, yo, I'm actually, I'm taking this supplement and I'm, I think I'm starting to feel something, but I'm not too sure. Of course they were like, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. But no, I, I genuinely thought I felt, you know, a bit more focused. Anyway, another week goes by. Now I'm in week three. So we're already nearly getting to the 30 days. So this is where the interesting stuff started to happen. So I already felt a little bit more focused, but then I became even more focused. But the thing that came with that was not really what I expected. So instead of just being focused all the time and you know getting stuff done, but I kind of missed something from my life that I didn't really think about too much before. And I kind of lost a little bit of emotion in terms of caring about what I was doing. I think it wasn't too much. It wasn't like a crazy amount of not caring. Like I wasn't completely like, I don't care about anyone. Yeah, I just felt more selfish when it came to like my work and what I was doing with and where I wanted to go with, with my life and everything. So I noticed a shift in that aspect. I kind of felt like I didn't want to have any emotional exchange with anyone. I felt like I wasn't really being 100% my usual self. Like I'm not the craziest emotional person anyway, but it brought it to another level where it just added maybe like another 20% of like, I don't give a fuck attitude. And I guess that can be an advantage in some areas of life and maybe even in some situations in life where, I don't know, perhaps you don't wanna be emotional and you kind of wanna just have like a, a, a strict and a built up strong wall, emotional wall, but also it can kind of be seen as a negative if you're already non-emotional person anyway, or you lack emotion. So the last week, it was the first two things and I was even more like emotionally lacking in terms of like caring about people. That's the best way I could explain it, to be honest. I was even more laser focused on what I was doing with, you know, my job, my work. And I did actually get a lot of shit done. So I actually really liked that aspect of things. I felt like that definitely was a side effect of the ashwagandha. I also experienced in the third week, which I didn't really talk about, which I'm gonna mention quick before I get into the last week, that my libido definitely 
increased. I think that's the right word. So my testosterone definitely improved and I could tell because number one, no social anxiety whatsoever. Like I don't really usually have too much social anxiety anyway. I noticed a complete evaporation. I could talk to anyone. Like I was even going to the gym to start conversations with people. I'd be like, hey, yeah, man, how's your day, man? How's your day? How you doing, man? What are you training today? Like I don't do that normally but anyway going back to the testosterone and libido thing yeah i definitely felt like yeah the social anxiety went because my test was higher and you know i could tell because i just, i did feel a little bit more you know wink wink up for it let's just say that <laughs> i felt stronger in my body too like it wasn't a crazy effect where i was like oh my god i feel like an absolute beast right now like I've just taken TRT or Trembolone acetate. I don't necessarily know if the testosterone did increase, like I didn't test it or anything, but it certainly felt like it. But anyway, last week I felt probably, I would say it was kind of wearing off, a not really wearing off, but I was getting used to it. So I was still laser focused. I got a lot of shit done. I was good in the gym. The, the testosterone still seemed to be there. So I still felt like, pretty good in myself no social anxiety i was in the zone yeah i felt probably the best i felt this year so far i'm not gonna lie i think i started in i, mean, I say this year but i started december 10th and i stopped january 10th why did it take me so long to work that out but yeah it's interesting because over the christmas period the effects started to kick in but not too much so I didn't really feel like when I was like hugging family members and stuff or, you know, just obviously it's Christmas, it's Christmas dinner. I didn't feel too much uh, emotion, which was really weird, but it wasn't like, I wasn't sad about it. I was just like, okay, this is the thing. Um, but usually like, you know, when you see your grandparents or your cousins, whatever, you feel like way more happy to see them. But I wasn't like ecstatic like I usually would be. And I think that was some of the effects of the ashwagandha, but I could just be absolutely having a placebo effect. But I don't think I was because I didn't notice it. Anyways, the last week I was just getting used to it, okay? I was getting used to being on it. Didn't even really notice I was on it anymore. And I was even telling my friends at this point, I was like, yo, like you got to try this like at least once because this is kind of crazy. In terms of like sleep, I didn't really notice too much of a difference. Like maybe it did help me sleep, uh, but I couldn't tell you if I noticed that, if I'm being really honest. But yeah, I kind of feel like it peaked around week three and maybe like a couple days into week four. So by the end of week four, I wasn't really feeling the effects too much. Let's just say that. So overall, the pivotal question, would I recommend it to you guys? Should you take it and will it help you? I think it's very subjective. It depends on what type of person you are. So this is what I would say. I think, obviously you don't have to take my advice, do whatever you want. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm not recommending anything. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. I think that if you are too much of an emotional person and that can potentially harm you in your life in certain situations, like maybe people take advantage of you or people play on your emotions to get what they want. I mean, that's a similar thing to take advantage of you. Then I think ashwagandha can be very good. And if you give to people too much and you don't necessarily get too much back and it sort of ruins your life a bit, then you can allow you to focus on yourself a lot more. Yeah, and you get a lot of stuff done your, yourself, which can be good for people like that. I also think that if you have some high social anxiety, it's probably worth having a look into at the very least, because I definitely saw a change, even if it was a little bit, I saw such a change in the social anxiety. Like I didn't have any, like any anymore, none. I didn't, I came, I went in the room and I just felt like I was, I don't know, I felt like I, I liked myself, you know, like I really did. Not that I don't anyway, but I felt like I liked myself even more without being, you know, too overly confident or even cocky. I just genuinely felt in a great mood. And I also felt focused on my workouts and like, I was just, yeah, I was really effective in getting a lot of stuff done. In my experience, I think it definitely was good for three to four weeks, but I think any longer than that, I would have lost it a bit. And even like the end of the fourth week slash beginning of the fifth, I kind of did start to feel like I was kind of staying at a level playing field. It kind of felt like at the start, I was going up, 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 and then it kind of plateaued a little bit and just felt like a stable level, which isn't a bad thing, but I just, it kind of wore off a little bit for me. The issue I think comes if you're already quite an emotionally unavailable human <laughs> um, and you don't really have too much emotion anyway to begin with, 
with and then you start taking that and you just become a complete cyborg and a robot i think that's the issue that could come with a lot of people maybe it won't completely enable you to process important moments in your life that you probably need to process and that could be valuable to process um, and think about more so i think in that aspect it can be a little bit dangerous but nothing too crazy to the point where i'm like okay this can completely ruin your life my overall opinion of ashwagandha it does help people should you take it i don't know it depends on you if you want to try it then do it as long as you're obviously of age and you meet the requirements to be able to do it and you research it properly then do what you want i can't stop you but that is just my review on ashwagandha if that does sound interesting to you then feel free to look into it more guys. And if you want more kind of reviews like this on things where I'm just gonna be completely honest and do like 30 days of, of something or trying even different foods, so it doesn't have to be supplements, can be anything, let me know in the comment section. And one last thing, if you guys are interested in finding out more about the right supplements you should take for your training and the right foods you should take with the right nutrition and how to train properly with modules where I explain absolutely everything that you need to do to improve in your calisthenics, your mobility, your general fitness life then make sure to check out the calisthenians academy and i'll leave a link in the description anyway guys i'll see you in the next one love you all and subscribe for more peace